Andy here, and this is the ending to a video that I never wanted to film. Hello, and uh, welcome to the wonderful sweep of Mounts Bay. Mount, just over there in the distance, Marazan beyond. You just look over to the right, Penzance, Newlin, and in the distance, Mausol. Okay, so we are setting off today from here to St Just, which is on the far tip of Cornwall. It's about a 20 minute ride from here. Weather's good. Let's go. Okay, so we're on the last stretch now, just uh, circumventing Penzance. And we're getting on to the uh, coast road, heading up towards places like Pendine and St. Just itself. Directly, Mansum. There's a very good pub just to your right. So, this is when we venture off the main drag at last to. Well, we're still on the main road, but we're heading across the peninsula uh, to, to Land's End you'd go straight on don't recommend it realistically uh, Land's End's a bit of a dump in reality uh, the wild coast Pendine, Penwith a brilliant place and great for riding a motorcycle on as long as there aren't too many tourists because the roads can get very very clogged in high summer so we are literally cutting across that peninsula, as I said, but we're heading towards other interesting places like um, Cape Cornwall, Port Nambon, and I may have some photos of those places, so if I do, as ever, I'll pop, up, pop them up for you to have a look at and see the kinds of places that are situated here, and of course the Vitalik mines, the famous ones, they're here too, and I definitely have some pictures of those, so I'll pop them up. And that's in just itself, it's quite a nice little village, probably the main centre of population in, in the neighbourhood. ancient monuments here. I think these coastliner buses kind of go through all the, the different spots. Um, there's various ancient monuments here. I think there's a place called Trekker Seal not too far away and again got a photo of that. I'll pop it up. Uh, I visited the Merry Maidens just before Christmas last year. I think I've got a photo of that. So these are all locations you can visit in this area. There's also Lanyon Quite, photo of that. Chun Quite, don't think I've got one of that yet. Fountain Inn, looks good. All good bases for walking along the coast paths and across the high moors of Penwith. Literally the land of myth and legend. All photos are available to purchase, either from my website or you can DM me. Beautiful windy road there. So we're going to be a little, a little bit careful there. There are literally remains of mining everywhere in Cornwall. People don't realise just how intensively mine this whole area was for all kinds of metals, minerals, uh, since prehistoric times, really. Now, often you will see mine buildings in the very close vicinity to ancient stone circles like the hurlers. Possibly a photo of that too. Hooray! places called the Minions. And there really is a, a village called Minions in Cornwall. It's just fantastic. And we're almost there now. Just relax, enjoy the view. 
more ruined buildings here. It really, really is the Wild West in Cornwall here. Some buildings, I think, date to wartime. There's quite a lot of uh, military activity in this area. It's an interesting lake to the left. And look at these. Oh, I've got to come back here with a camera. I must, I must. So, here we are. Mine buildings, ruins, windy road, motorcycle. Does life get any better? And the sun's shining. So, we are nearly at our destination. Right, where well, it's just found a parking space. Let's go explore and get some food. And then on to the next destination. So sadly that's the end of moto vlogging for today as the uh, mount has broken. But then something else happened. Went to turn the bike's ignition on and nothing. The engine immobiliser light was on. Now this can happen when the uh, wiring harness, and I'll try and put up a picture of that if I can, chafes against the headstock and brings on the immobiliser light. So I'm wondering whatever triggered the immobiliser light actually had a, like a time delay built in. Eventually, after about 20 minutes of fiddling, so I uh, took the seat off, checked the battery connections, checked the fuses, pretty much all of them, checked the oil level, just in case it was triggering something, checked the coolant level, made sure everything was working as it should be. Nothing of our, as far as I could see. So it was obviously down to some kind of internal form. Bike is now in at the local dealers, but that's the reason why this vlog ended that suddenly. So I thought an explanation was due and an update. Um, is this a major problem? No, I don't think it is a major problem. It is something that needs to be fixed though, because obviously you want to have confidence that the bike is going to start, not just wondering whether it is or it isn't. Whether the actual harness needs to be replaced is another matter it certainly is very tight okay so there it is on that bombshell let's end this video thanks for watching see you in the next one and fingers crossed for no more problems